Hey guys, my name is Anthony Fontana. I'm a CPA and with Trump's tax returns that just got released, I had to take a look. Here are four things that quickly caught my eye as I reviewed these returns. Number one is Trump loses money. Now there are two years that he actually does make money. Out of the six years on these tax returns, he is losing on average $8.8 .8 million a year. Number two is the amount of tax that Trump pays. Now, yes, there are years where he pays little to no federal income tax. The thing is, there are other taxes on the tax return that he is paying with the least amount out of these six years is $200,000 that he pays in taxes. And on average, he's paying $700,000 in tax. Number three is the sheer size of these tax returns. They are over 400 pages that gets filed with the IRS. On average, when I see a big tax return, it's probably maybe 60 pages that gets filed with the IRS. And the reason for the size of these returns is he is a partner in over 400 businesses. That is massive, 400 businesses he's a partner of. Last but not least, Donald Trump gets a refund on each one of these six years of tax returns. The reason for these refunds is because he is prepaying his tax. He essentially overpays his tax throughout the year. And then when he files his return, he's getting the money back that he overpaid. If you want to know a little bit more about my review into these returns or my opinion about these tax returns, stay tuned. All right. So first and foremost, with tax returns being this big, I myself as being a tax accountant was thinking, Hey, what is a company that prepares a return that looks something like this even get paid. So I had to check it out. 2016 shows, you'll see here that he paid almost $1.3 million in tax preparation fees. That is mind boggling. Okay, so I do want to address one thing here. I've been reading a lot and researching here uh, a lot of these news organizations and even the House Ways and Means Committee reported, right, that Donald Trump is essentially not paying that much in what we call federal income tax. And even in 2020, there was zero in federal income tax paid. And I believe it was uh, 2016 and 17 only paid $750 in, again, federal income tax. Now, this may be correct. It actually is correct. And I did look, did fact check that. That is correct. But I think that is not the important number what should be reported. It is misleading and I wanna show you why. So what I think the more important number that should be reported is the total tax liability that is on the tax return. That includes all the other taxes that the income tax return reports on, not just the federal income tax. So that would be like additional Medicare tax, self-employment tax, et cetera. And when you look at these numbers on these tax returns, you'll see indeed that he is paying a decent amount in taxes, again, on these income tax returns. So you'll see here, 2015, right? He's paying over 700,000 total tax. Federal income tax here, 2015 would be 600, but he's also paying self-employment tax, uh, these household employment taxes as well, when you essentially you have like a nanny at the house, um, and then uh, this additional Medicare tax is what that is. So total 15, paying a decent amount. 2016, where they said he only paid 750 in ordinary income tax, which is correct, um, but there is also self-employment taxes he's paying, again, the household employment taxes and additional Medicare tax. So what I think is the more important line to report is the total tax, right? You'll see this is even bolded on the tax return where this number, right? There's no bolded number, uh, bolded name here. 2017 is kind of the same story, 750 here, right? But he's actually paying total tax. 2018 is a, a lot different, I believe. Yeah, total tax. Look at that, $2 million. 2019 also paying um, a decent amount. Where are we at? Total tax, 460 right? Um, and then 2020, the infamous year where he paid zero in federal income tax, which is what they're saying, right? Which is, again, correct, but not the full story. 
total tax, $271,000. Again, a lot of this is self-employment tax, which is like Social Security and Medicare tax, additional Medicare tax, and that household um, employment taxes. Now, I kind of did a spreadsheet here with a breakdown of all of these tax, again, liabilities on the returns that I just showed you. But you'll see, right, in average per year, he's paying about 700000 in federal taxes here on the tax return. Now, I'm giving some credit to these tax returns in terms of, okay, maybe they reported that there wasn't much taxes on his returns when indeed there were. But I'm going to go the other way now and kind of criticize these things. Hang tight. Okay, another very important line on tax returns is what we call the adjusted gross income, okay? This is usually the line that you use when you apply for federal programs like Covered California, which is like the health insurance uh, subsidy program that they have, or let's say for FAFSA, the uh, federal program for colleges and universities for scholarships and grants, okay? You're gonna look at the adjusted gross income is what they're gonna be asking for. Now, if we look at that on these returns, doesn't look so hot. There's a lot of negatives on these returns in the millions of dollars, okay? And you'll see each one of these years, right? 18, he had a good year. 19, still decent year. 2020, bad year here. In average, of these six years of $8.8 .8 million losses on the tax return. That doesn't look good. Take a look here, right? You'll see, for instance, 2015, $30,000 loss. 2016, again, big loss. 17, man. Massive losses here. 18 was the good year. You should see AGI. There it is, right? Good year there. But again, just not, does not look good. $4 million gain and 2020, I believe, was a loss year here. If you ask for my opinion on all these losses, when there's smoke, there's fire. Man, you got to take a look at these to see if this is legit. Donald Trump has over 400 business entities on his tax returns, 400 entities. That is so many. And for these entities to be netting losses doesn't make sense to me. You don't go in business to lose money. You go in business to make money. If there are year over year just losses, when there's smoke, there's fire if you ask me. Now, another thing I've seen is that Donald Trump is getting refunds on all of these tax returns. Now, essentially, the reason he's getting refunds is because he is overpaying tax on estimates or there are rollovers of these refunds that are going to the next year, applying to the next year, and that's why he's getting the refunds. It's not that the government is giving him money. Well, I hope this video gave you a different take on these tax returns, my analysis on it. Again, a general overview of these returns. As you can see, I was kind of only looking at the first couple pages of the returns. Didn't really go deep diving into these 400 page worth of returns per year. Um, but if you'd like me to take a, a deeper look or you got a question about something maybe you uh, I can take a look at and address for you, please that leave that in the comments below. If, this, uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. You want to share it with someone, please do subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much, guys.